Welcome back. This is Rich again for the next video blog I'm doing. This one is about a review of a classic television sitcom that I binged watched on Tubi recently. I watched all, all four seasons of Welcome Back Carter. But before I get to this review, don't forget to follow Crystal's Time Machine on various social media platforms, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram, and listen to Crystal's Time Machine every Friday and Saturday night from 9 to 11 p.m. on WCAP 980, where everybody gets it. She plays music from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. And also listen to the podcast exclusively on archive.org, which the shows go back to October of 2015. Now back to our video blog. Welcome Back Carter was a situation comedy that ran on ABC from September 9th, 1975 through June 8th, 1979, which was four seasons and 95 episodes. It was created by, um, by Alan Sachs and Gabe Kaplan, who was also Mr. Carter. And was produced by the um, by James Comack, who produced other sitcoms, including The Courtship of A.D.'s Father and Chico and the Man. And it was in association with David Wall Production which produced the original biography and also Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. And the theme song was su sung by John S Sebastian. The theme song, Welcome Back, was actually a big hit on the Billboard chart. I think it reached the Billboard's top 20 in 1976. And Welcome pa Back, Carter, starred Gabe Kaplan. As Gabe Carter, a remedial, remedial high school history t teacher that he's, he's he went back to his fictionist um high school um Alamada um Buchanan High School, and also styling was Marsha Strassman as Jew. Julie Carter, a housewife who had a degree in archaeology or an archaeology, whatever, and she stayed home for the first three seasons of the show. She had twins, Rachel and Robin, for season three, and, and she, season four, she became the receptionist to Buchanan High School. Also, in the cast was John um, Sylvester White as Michael Woodman, the Buchanan's high school vice principal, and he became principal of Buchanan the fourth and final season. They had a fictionist um, high school principal, John Lazarus, but he was not shown on the air. He's one of those unseen characters on television. And the Sweat Hogs were pl played by Robert he he Heggies, who was um, Juan Epstein, a Puerto Rican Jew, and he would always bring a note to school excusing him from class. Also, Lawrence Hilton Jacob as Freddy Boom Boom Washington, who was famous for saying hi there. Also, 
one power o as arnold horshack arnold was famous as hi how are you i'm arnold horshack he would laugh like this ah, 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 and always in class he would say ooh 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 and john travolta as Vinnie Barbarino, the leader of the Sweat Hogs for the first three seasons. Who? What? Where? And oh, I'm so confused. When John left the series um, in 1978, he was replaced by Steve Shortridge. Who played Ball La Dube. And recurring characters on Welcome Back Carter was Deborah Lee Scott as Rosie Hotsey Totsy. She appeared on a couple of episodes the first season. She eventually dropped out of school, became a parent, and she returned for one episode in season three. She became an exotic, exotic, exotic dancer. Also, her L Lim La Beck played Judy Borden, who was a recurring character for the first three seasons. She had, like, she talked down to the Sweat Hogs. V v Vern Watson was, pl um, she played Verna Jean Williams, who was Freddie Boom Boom Washington's girlfriend for the first two seasons. Charles Feshun as Carwell, who had a recurring character for a couple of episodes in season two. Eventually, he became more of, appeared in more episodes in season four. Bob Harkum as Murray, who also was friends with Carvelli. They had some recurring um in the first in season two and three becoming more of semi-regulars on season four melody um holler as angie she was the only official female sweat hog she appeared in a handful of episodes in season three and also irene uh, uh, Ma as Mary Johnson, who eventually she married Arnold Horshock in season four, and the the sh the the show was actually a kind of part of um, Gabe Kapler's life because back when he went to high school, he was in a remedial or program, and Welcome Pat Carter was a hit. Um, among fans of ABC for the first couple of seasons. It was ranked number 18th in the 1975-1976 season, and it was ranked number 13th in the 1976-77 season. But the show didn't have it, had some controversy. I think the first, like, six episodes of Welcome Back, Carter, was not shown on WCVDB Channel 5, the ABC affiliate in Boston, because of the mixed, um, the ra ra race, um, the race, so, um, the diversity of the cast, and this was when they had the bu Boston busing crisis, and actually, those six episodes had to be shown on WSBK TV 38, but WCVB kind of gave in and showed it afterwards because of it being a hit for ABC. And usually the episodes centered around Mr. Carter telling his wife at the start of, of each episode about Uncle Jokes, and then he would usually do like um, crazy methods of teaching with like comedic twists with um Groucho Marx and 
George Burns impersonations, usually the sweat hogs would hang out with Mr. Carter and Mrs. Carter outside of school, and also by Mr. Woodman, who was the the vice principal, eventually the principal, he just, you know, got said a lot of sarcastic jokes. And during season three, the ratings started to dip. That it was the number 26 ranked show of the 1977-78 season. And um, uh, the producers and the writers needed to spice things up. They had Mrs. Carter have deliver twin girls, Rabel, um, Rachel and Robin. And Rachel and Robin were only seen a cup on a couple of episodes. That didn't really do the trick, and it was going to be a storyline that Mr. Carter was going to teach at a community college, and they they hoped this would have been like season four, have the sweat hogs graduate from high school and fall Mr. Carter to community college, but that never panned out. Um, Gabe Kaplan said that he thinks the season three um, ratings went downhill because of some of the actors. Many of the viewers did not think they were the were like teenage roles. Kind of, they thought they outgrew them because they um, Robert Lawrence and and Ron, the actors, were in their mid to late twenties and. Some people really don't, really don't like, like, actors in their twenties and thirties playing teenage roles. Plus, John Travolta became a big movie star with the release of Saturday Night um, Fever in nineteen seventy seven and Grease in nineteen seventy eight. He was having a big movie career. He decided to leave Welcome Back, Carter, in season four. And he only starred in a handful of episodes. And also, season four of Welcome Back, Carter, um, Gabe Carter got promoted to vice principal. And he and Gabe Kaplan actually appeared only in about six, seven episodes of Welcome Back, Carter in the fourth season. Because he had a dispute with the producer, the executive producer, James Colmack, about the direction of Welcome Back, Carter. And actually, Gabe Kaplan went to to do a movie called Fast Break, which was released in 1979. And were about a couple of episodes to, towards the end of the fourth season of Welcome Back, Carter, that, he, that Gabe, Mr. Carter, sported a beard. And the fourth and final season, ratings of Welcome Back, Carter reached um, was 78th in the ratings, and the lighting was on the wall. ABC canceled it. Many people said that the show should have ended season three, but um, they didn't have really enough episodes to syndicate it because usually television shows need at least 100, um, 100 episodes for it to be syndicated to make it profitable with reruns and like season four my humble opinion was not the best of the show especially when a lot of the episodes didn't have um mr carter or or like finney barberino it was the other cast members tried their best but it didn't really have the magic. The first couple of seasons were very, very good. But once season three rolled in, it really started to go downhill. And after Welcome Back, Carter ended, Gabe Kaplan had a brief movie career. And he, and he actually became like a poker player and actually portrayed... Groucho Marx in a one-man show in the 2000s. Marsha Strassman actually starred in two 
Honey, I Shrunk the Kids movies with Rick Morandis as Diane Zelinsky. And she passed away in 2014 of breast cancer. Um, John Sylvester White, White passed away at the age of 69 in 1988 due to um, pancreatic cancer. Robert Heggies um, was in Cagney and Lacey in the 1980s, but after that, his career basically went really downhill. He passed away in 2012 at the age of 60 years old. Lawrence Hilton Jacobs um, went after Welcome Back Carter. He just kind of disappeared from acting. Ron Power Low um, also disappeared from acting after Welcome Back Carter ended. He passed away in 2012 at the age of 60. And John Travolta became one of the biggest movie stars in Hollywood after Welcome Back Carter. And watching, you know, all the 95 episodes of Welcome Back Carter, this show, I think, should have been one of the best sitcoms of the 1970s. If they had, like, Gabe Gay, Gay Kaplan suggesting the Sweat Hogs follow... Mr. Carter to college. It, it could have had a, a hit. It could have lasted maybe six, seven seasons. Reruns of Welcome Back Carter was shown a lot. It was syndicated in Boston on WLVI Channel 56 for many years and the USA Network. And Nick at Night showed it for a little while, but they stopped Yelling them after about a year because of the disastrous fourth season. I think they really didn't like the fourth season. So that's about it. it. I recommend you watch Welcome Back Carter on Tubi. The next um, TV series I'll probably be reviewing on Tubi, which I'm starting to binge watch, is Give Me a Break with Nell Carter. I've got, gotten through maybe a couple of episodes of season one. So it be a while because it lasted six seasons. And have a good night, everybody. I will talk to you soon.